Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, we are going to be talking all about faux floral arrangement styling tips and ways that you can actually style them. So this video is going to specifically be talking about smaller types of arrangements. So we're gonna be covering coffee table, side table and kitchen counters. And then I'm going to have my next video coming out that will be specifically geared towards kitchen islands, dining tables, nightstands, and entryway tables. So because we just got over the winter and Christmas season, I'm not going to be showing those types of arrangements because it's not seasonally appropriate, but you can still apply the same principles to those types of arrangements. I will plan to do another round of this closer to that time. Maybe we'll do fall and winter together. You guys can let me know if that's something you'd like to see. But today is going to be geared more towards spring and summer arrangement styling. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Okay, so I apologize in advance. I have my oven running. I'm in the kitchen because there's just no good lighting in my house. It's super cloudy today. So here's some humming in the background occasionally from it running. But when it comes to coffee table styling, I like to use stuff that's a little bit wider. It's gonna take up a little bit more room so that the scale is appropriate to my coffee table. So I just grabbed three for today, just to not make it anything super crazy. So I know you guys saw this one in my winter decorating. This is the A Floral Compote Bowl. It has this footed like pedestal base on it. It is so beautiful. I've had this one for over a year now and I absolutely love it. You can use it all year round to style. It is a little bit more shallow, so you can't put like a full stem in it. So you wanna look more in like the bushes and picks sections when you're shopping for your florals. So this one is definitely a great, great option. We also have this ribbed wood bowl. I got this from House and Home last year and I know so many of you guys love Sky as well. So I'm sure quite a few of you have this one. So we will style with this. And then this is my concrete planter. I had gotten it at the depot last year. I like that we're bringing in three different textures. I don't have three hands. So we have the metallic, we have the wood, and we have the concrete. And so that way, I'm not going to style them all exactly the same because obviously if you like one arrangement, you can put it into a different vessel. But I like that we're able to bring in various types of texture. So if you have like a metal coffee table, maybe go towards the wood. If you have a wood one, maybe go for the concrete or the metallic. So that way you're bringing different texture into the space and is bringing a little bit more depth and a play on the eye. So we are going to start off, what should we start with? We're gonna start off with the A floral one and we're gonna style it what I like to do for early spring decorating. So real quick before we continue, this is future me talking because I was in the middle of editing and realized I missed a super important note, which is where do I shop for my faux florals? So my favorite places to shop for faux florals are Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Michaels, Target, TJ Maxx, and um, A Floral. So those places are absolutely the best. Hobby Lobby tends to be the most affordable when it comes to faux arrangements. A Floral is definitely a splurge, but you're gonna find some very unique pieces. So it's just kind of a where do you want to invest your money kind of thing. Certain ones, like I had just done that um, designer look for last video. I was able to find some of the A Floral ones at Hobby Lobby or at Michael's or on Etsy. And so there are definitely ways that you can save more when you're buying your faux florals. Obviously real or preserved are optimal because they look the best. I'm very allergic to flowers. So any little bit of pollen or something, I'm breaking out in hives and stuff. So I just don't deal with that. I also like the fact that when it comes to faux florals, I can use it year after year after year. So I'm gonna get back on my investment. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to add that quick note because that is a key ingredient to this. And so we'll get right back into the video now. Okay, so we have our empty bowl here. 
And for our base, I'm going to start off with these asparagus bushes. These are from Hobby Lobby. I love to use these for spring and for summer. And I'm just going to bend the stems so they have a more natural fall than they do right now. And I'm going to use three of them. So if you'll see, I'll kind of have them like twisting around the bowl like this. And then we will get into the fluffing and adding stuff in. Okay, so this is where we are with the three bushes. You can see they kind of like stick a little upright. Mine have obviously been in storage for a while. So I'm just gonna take them and kind of bend them down ever so slightly. Leave some of them sticking up so it has a more natural look to it. So we have that bent around. And the first one we're going to start off with is what I like to do for early spring, which is magnolia flowers. So I have these ones here. I have a couple of the leaves. I got these on clearance from Target a few years ago. And I'm just gonna put two in there because I don't want anything crazy. This is just for a coffee table. So I have the two of those, again, bending them a little bit out of the way there. And then these magnolia flower picks are from Hobby Lobby. They are in like the wedding garden gnome kind of section. And so I'm just gonna take a few of them. I think I have five. And they're just going to be dispersed through here. And then these little bits here, I actually took off of the Michaels stems. So if you guys ordered some of those bigger ones from Michaels, you can actually add these to give it a more like blooming look, which I always like to go for. So I'll just tuck these in randomly. Wow. We'll see, we'll turn it around here. And I'm just kind of sticking them in different directions. They're gonna fall how they fall and that's fine. We don't need anything like crazy full anyways. Let's stick these in. And there we have it. So this is the one arrangement style that I like to do for some early spring decorating. It's super simple and it looks gorgeous. So I know that this one is a little bit similar to how I had styled our kitchen island in that um, kitchen winter decorate with me video. This is really what I like to do for early spring. So for February, I like to incorporate lots of magnolias, keep things nice and simple and clean. And it just, it looks beautiful. So this is my go-to for that. So you'll be seeing basically this exact arrangement when I decorate our living room. But now we are going to move to the ridged wooden bowl with some Cosmos. And you'll see a recurring theme with all of my coffee table styling is that I love, love these asparagus bushes. They are the perfect filler piece. Okay, so we're gonna start off the same way as we did with the A floral bowl. These again, are such an affordable way to have a filler piece. We're just gonna take them and work them around the bowl to fill it up. Sometimes it'll stand up a little too much and you'll just wanna like curve it so that it sits more flat in whatever dish you're doing so it like really gets down into it. And then what we'll be incorporating for these, so this is what I like to do for spring decorating, are these beautiful Cosmo stems. These are from Hobby Lobby as well. Now, I had mentioned this in a recent video, I can't remember which one. If you can find florals in two different tones, that is your best bet to creating 
a really nice depth and variation in your arrangement and is going to just make it look that much nicer. So these are the mauve and these are the taupe and the two of them together just look beautiful. So I've mentioned this also before, I don't like cutting my stems, so I will sit there and manipulate them up really tiny to be able to fit them in my arrangements. So what you're gonna wanna do, especially with these, because mine have been in storage, so they're all bunched up, is kind of spread them apart a little bit because you want them flowing in different directions to create a more full arrangement. I'm not gonna be skimpy adding these in. I'm going to be adding in a decent amount of them. And then you're gonna kind of go in between the asparagus bush, almost borderline underneath it for your first layer. And then bend the flowers downward because you want this like cascading effect on it. So I did a taupe one. So now I'm going to grab one of the mauve ones. Ooh. Let me grab this one. It's already, already pulled together a little tighter on the bottom there for me. And again, I'm going to go through and tuck it underneath the asparagus and it's going to create a little bit of resistance, which is actually a good thing. And then what you can do is you can grab an asparagus bush branch and just like pull it in between it to help create that filler. So we're just gonna keep going around and adding those. Okay, so here is our spring arrangement all done. It's super, super wispy. It's very, very full. So you could realistically put this on a kitchen island if you wanted to because I just like to make mine really full, but I also love my coffee table arrangements to be really big statements. So I have the asparagus bushes and then the two Hobby Lobby Cosmos in here. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So this is what I like to do for regular spring decorating. Our last one that we're gonna get into for the coffee table ones is going to be for summer. And the last coffee table one we're going to do today is going to be with this beautiful concrete planter. And this one we are going to do the peonies with. I love these ones in particular, they are so fun. They're like a bud look and they have a slight pink tinge to it. Um, I love these. A Floral sells them as well as Michaels, but Michaels, they tend to sell out really fast and you can only buy them in a pack of 12. So I honestly think it's worth it. They're so beautiful. I have a ton of them, um, but yeah, let's get into the summer arrangement. So this one's going to start off the same as the others. We're going to put in whoop, these three picks. This vessel is not as shallow as the others, so I can actually get away with using some regular sized stems sometimes. But we're going to be adding these absolutely gorgeous little blackberry stems. I got them from A Floral last year, and I have to tell you, I'm like ridiculously obsessed with them. They are so beautiful and so fun and it just brings a nice deep color that maybe wouldn't come to my arrangement in particular for like the lighter months. So I'm gonna add two of these in here and I'm just gonna have them so they're kind of cascading over the side because they don't really need to be the focal point, the focal point it are the flowers, but these just add another fun depth to the arrangement that it normally wouldn't get. So we have our asparagus and our blackberries. I could definitely get away with three, 
but figured I'd bring my face up here because I'm being chatty anyways. So I could definitely get away with three of the blackberry stems in here, but my reasoning is that I only have five total, sorry, I have them on the floor, so I'm looking over there. I have five total, and this is just part one of the floral arrangement styling. The secondary one is showing those bigger pieces, and when I'm decorating a space, I like to have them cohesive with each other. So if I'm doing my peonies and blackberries on my entry table, I want that on my coffee table too. So I'm not going to use every single one in this arrangement because I would do it in something else. And so that's why I just want to make sure I'm sharing with you guys like a real life scenario, not an optimal scenario, if that makes sense. Because if I wanted to do everything exactly to a T, how I would imagine it, I'd probably have like 10 of these and that's expensive, that's not reasonable. So I'm trying to keep it reasonable for myself and for you guys. So let's continue this. I'll stop talking for 30 seconds. <laughs> so now we're going to go in and add these peony bud stems. This is what I was talking about with the floral tape. If you don't want to cut your stems, but you want it to make sure it's out of the way, you can just do this. It's really, really simple. Um, but for the bottom ones, I like to have them tucked in a little bit better. So that way they're not standing like seven feet off the vase. Like this one's sticking out a little bit. I can wedge it in slightly more. I want it to still stick out, but like for example, this one's not trimmed at all. That's how far out it would stick. And that just looks ridiculous. So that's why I grab them and I'll just bend the stem even. Sometimes it's a matter of like tucking it in a particular way. And that way they're a little bit closer to my vase and more realistic in nature of how they would actually look if they were just out and about, if that makes sense. So we have all these going in. These ones are all that I'm putting in right now are all exactly the same. Um, and so you'll see, like I start to tear them off. So I start with my bottom row and then I'll come up a little bit and I'll still tuck them in like this and just kind of stick them in literally upright. And that way it kind of opens up the whole arrangement. And like, I've, I've always said, I really like to have very full arrangements for my coffee table ones. I don't do sparse. I don't know how to do that. Let's be real. Um, I'll keep things more simple on my kitchen counters, which you guys have seen before, and I'll share some in a little bit. But I'm literally going to put all of these in here because that is just the look that we are going for today. And then when you start to get to a certain point, you can also bend them downwards a little bit because flowers don't stand up perfectly. And so we don't want these ones to either. And then I have a couple of these. I got these at the depot. Just something different to put in here because obviously all of these other ones are exactly the same as each other. And so it's nice to have a little bit of variation happening. So I will just scatter these through where they're not near each other to add a little bit more depth. And the last piece we're gonna add to this arrangement is I have some just regular leaf eucalyptus as well as oops, they're stuck <laughs> some seeded eucalyptus again i have the branches folded and i'm just gonna put these through as well to help it make help make it look really really full and a little bit whimsical and i'm just gonna alternate when i do the seeded and the non-seeded to help give it more dimension.
so here is the summer arrangement all done. This one is super, super full, very whimsical. I love this arrangement. I will absolutely do this again over the summer. I just love the depth and how much is happening in it. They're a little bit clustered in some areas because obviously this isn't perfect. We're, we're not going for perfection right now. I'm just trying to help you guys out. But I literally, I'm obsessed with this. I'm so excited to decorate with these again for summer. It just looks so beautiful. So again, just like that other Cosmo one, this is a very, very big arrangement. You could totally do this on your kitchen island as well. You don't have to limit it to your coffee table. I just like really big coffee table arrangements. I think they look so pretty. So yeah. So yeah. now we are gonna be moving on to the smaller side table and kitchen counter arrangements. When it comes to those, you want them to be lower in profile. You don't want them so wide and so big. So this is a great first option for early spring and it is providing contrast, which is super important. So the brown from these picks are tying into the vase and bringing in some warmth to the space that maybe it might be lacking when you're taking out all this other stuff from Christmas and winter. So I just have one asparagus bush and five of the magnolia flower picks in here. And again, I grabbed some of those little pieces off of the Michaels florals just to add in a little bit something extra. But this is a great option for early spring decorating. I love this one. I also have um, Hobby Lobby has these baby's breath stems, which are really a great, great way of decorating a shallow space that you have. So these are the white ones. I also have the beige in this pot. I got this pot from House and Home last year, but it is on A floral and it's actually affordable on A floral too. So I will have that linked below, but this is the beige. This is a great all year round one. The white can be quite stark. So it might be one of those that's better off for actually being spring or summer, but this you could get away with all through the seasons. It is a floral, but still, like this is a great option for like a bathroom vanity or something too. Um, but I love this little pot because it is quite small, but it's tall and the handles bring a nice little fun detail to it. So this is another great option. If you love tulips, you could always do something like this. So I have I think 10 tulips in here right now. So this is another great option for early spring decorating. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot probably four years ago now, but Amazon and Kirkland's has really, really great real touch tulips. So I will have both of them linked down below. Mine are a little bit beat up just because I've had them for so long, but this is just a really nice, simple touch and I'm bringing in the contrast again, putting it in a black vase versus a white one. So this is another great option. For the summertime, this is a great way too for the concrete planter vase that we did. That one was super full and super big and had so many different components to it. If you wanted to simplify it and make it smaller, this is the Walmart vase. I still have all six eucalyptus and I have 10 of the peonies, but it can still tie in the space. It is a little bit bigger than some of the other ones we did, but it is still low profile enough that you could put it on a side table. You could, you could put this on your coffee table if you have like a smaller one, or if you have a round coffee table, this would be a great option too, because as soon as you get rid of the corners, there's not a lot of room to work with. You want to break. You don't want to have stuff all the way to the edge of your table. So you could do this as well, but this is a great option for the summer. And again, I just kind of want every other and layered pieces in to bring some variation and contrasted it with the darker vase with the lighter, lighter florals. So that way they'll really pop.
So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. If this was your first time here, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. And be sure to hit that notification bell so it'll alert you for any new uploads I have coming up. My next video will be part two to this series. So we will do the kitchen island, the dining table, and entryway styling tips. That way you can see too, in a more direct comparison of how I would make things cohesive in a space and how I'm styling for spring and summer and so forth from there. But be sure to leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite thing that I shared today? Are there any more questions that you have that I maybe didn't answer? Be sure to leave them down in the comments below so I can make sure that I address it somehow, some way. But as always, thank you guys for your support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.